Hey, this is Claudia Russell from An Insight with Claudia. I'm here in front of Pat's Barbershop, and we're going to go in and talk to Pat and talk to the other barbers who have cut hair in Cohasset since 1968. Pat's Barbershop has been a landmark place in Cohasset where numerous generations, up to five generations we've been told, have come to get their hair cuts. And in one week alone, Pat has cut five generations' hair. This has been an establishment for all of the Cohasset residents as well as from communities all across the southwest, um, the south, all across the southeast in uh, the south shore of Massachusetts. Uh, people from Plymouth, Marshfield, Situate, all, all towns throughout come in and get their haircuts here. So why don't we go in and talk a little bit more to Pat and to the other barbers. Pat, how many customers a day do you normally serve on average? Me? Not many. <laughs> <laughs> you, I work 20 hours a week, 20, 20, 20 hours. So I, I'm, I'm semi-retired, so I work uh, probably about 20, 22 hours a week. Okay. Oh, wow. That's great. And, and do you have any son, children that uh, want to join in? Uh, I do, do have one that had uh, a, a um, barber's license. He worked here during when he was going to school. Yeah. And uh, But he decided that the... He didn't want to do it uh, as a living, so so uh, he uh, he works for uh, he's a headhunter for uh, for Monster.com. Oh, that's great! That's great. He likes that better because he can do his own thing. He can work at home, you know. He can work from anywhere. So so he's happy, and that's the bottom line. That's all that matters: being happy. So, on average, how many customers a day do do you guys service here in the total? Uh, I don't know. Probably in a day like today is a little busy. You know, Fridays usually. A busy yeah. I'm sure days like uh, back to school and uh, what other big days? Uh, Christmas and holidays. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, those those we do we do uh, you know more in those weeks than we do like in a normal week. Like myself, I, like today, I'll probably give maybe seven or eight haircuts. Wow. I just came in with them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I take uh, my last customer like at five o'clock and so that's uh, semi-retired hours. Absolutely. And your busiest days are probably what? Uh, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays? Saturday we close on Saturdays, Sundays. Fridays and sa Saturdays usually are busy days, yeah. So. Okay. Mike, yeah, so uh, he's, uh, he does, uh, you know, uh, quite a few women in here, so that kind of makes it. Because some women, I think, uh, need a little, little privacy in there. But uh, he, he's perfect for the space, yeah. He loves it, like he has his own shop in another shop. I was going to say yes, because he's got his own his own uh, room here, his own... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, hey, Tony, how are you? This is uh, 143 TV. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your haircutting experience here at Pat's Barbershop? My hands are getting tired. I cut too much hair. <laughs> so, on average, how many customers do you cut hair for in a day? A day, probably 10, 12. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. Definitely your hands would get tired after that. Huh? That's right. That's right. <laughs> You're right. How do, you, how do you handle it? Like, when you go home at night, what do you do? I squeeze a ball so my hands stay strong for the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been working here for 50 years. 50 years. Wow. So you must have seen a lot of changes in Cohasset during that time. All for good. Good change. Yeah. All good people move here. I lost a lot of customers to move away. Of course, lost to death, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
I'm sure you've seen a lot of different generations, correct? Oh, four or five. Wow. One, one week I cut four generations here. That was a long time ago. The name was Will Wright. So you cut the four generations all at one point? One week. Wow. One week. Wow. But never at the same time. Not at the same time. Not at the same time, huh? Yeah. I'm sure you've seen a lot of wedding haircuts too, right? Oh, yeah. I have to give them a shave. Yeah, yeah, oh. we do that here too. Yeah. Oh, you do shaving all oh, the old-fashioned way with a big knife? No, a big razor. If I use a knife, we we'll cut meat. <laughs> 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 and um, are you also from Italy? No, I'm Portuguese. Oh, where in Portugal are you from? I'm from Cabo Verde. Oh, okay, Cabo Verde. Cabo Cab Verde. Cabo Verdeano, sí. Si. Si. Mm. Oh, wow. Yo soy dominicana, yo hablo español. Un poco. <laughs> Un poco. <laughs> sí. All right, so we, we won't bother you yes. much. I, thank I thank you. Okay. Hi, Jim. Uh, well, Jim Franco. Jim Franco. So how long have you been cutting hair for Pat? 39 years. Wow, 39 years. My goodness. Yeah. Very long time. You've seen a lot of people, huh? A lot of hair. Everything. Everything you mean. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we did. So tell us, uh, what do you enjoy most about cutting? I love this town. I love this area. It's uh, been good to us, you know? We really see generations coming in, in, three or four generations. It's great. It really is, yes. Do you see changes in hair from generation to generation? Has our hair changed much? <laughs> no, they're all in and out. You know, they come back, long hair, short hair. Yeah. They all every few years, same thing. So the generational change in hair. I know Pat was telling us it's gone from long hair to short hair. Yeah. What what is the trend now, in 2019? Very very short. Very yeah, short. fades and cuts. Yeah, very oh, short. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to add in terms of your background, experience, Pat's Barbershop, the changes you've seen in the town? Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's a great town. It's been always been a great town, and uh, okay. we'd love to work here, oh, you know? That's great. Wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. So here we are with Susan. She's the lone, the lone female hair cutter at uh, Pat's Barbershop, at least for today. <laughs> so, Susan, tell us a little bit about your experience cutting at Pat's Barbershop. Well, it's pretty interesting because I often will get clients that come in and say, I have not had a haircut anywhere else, and they'll be in their 50s. Wow. Wow. It's a little pressure because I'm the newest member, <laughs> um, and it's very interesting, but it's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, pretty neat. Amazing. Yeah, and, you know, their fi father got a haircut hair, and their children get haircuts hair, so yeah. it's very unique, very unique. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So um, what's been the most interesting? How long have you been here, actually? Just about six months. I'm wow. the newest. You Every, are the newest. Yes. <laughs> everyone else has been here 13 or more years. Wow. And we actually met Tony, who's been here 50 years. Yes. He's amazing. He's yeah. so funny. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so um, in terms of haircut, what changes have you seen in the haircutting world? You know, um, in the last, I mean, we're celebrating the glasses 250th uh, anniversary this year, and uh, we just wanted to find out about the changes. So actually, recently, it's very classic. The haircuts are very classic. They haven't really changed. But you, throughout the years, you know, you had in the 70s, the longer hair, uh, as well as the 80s, and then the 90s, the mullet, and um, not a good look. But, you know, <laughs> uh, and now mostly at Pat's, we get very conservative, although I believe the soccer team came in last week, seven one day, seven another, and they all got mullets and a mohawks for their playoff run oh, so that was a lot yeah that was a lot of fun so why did you tell us then what are you here for are you here for any special event or occasion no and what is your name fritz fritz yeah hi fritz <laughs> i know what kind of haircut are you getting today just a normal one a normal one yeah. oh, oh. can't wait to see it <laughs> Great. Well, thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. So Pat's Barbershop is a good old-fashioned haircutting place. Uh, it's a barbershop that's been around since 1968. And as we can see here, the sign-in still works in an old notebook. Uh, and this notebook is just a good old-fashioned way of signing in, not using technology. As you can see here with the sign, please sign in. And as guests come in, they put in their name, and then they're called in. 
Hello, this is Claudia Russell from 143 TV in Cohasset. And for an insight with Claudia, I'm here with Pat the Barber. Hello, Pat. Hey, how are you? Very well, thank you. Well, nice to see you. Nice to see you here. Uh, some uh, some uh, advertising. <laughs> <laughs> So as most Cohasset residents know, Pat the Barber has been here for how many years, Pat, have you been here? 50 years this year. 50 years. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, tell me all the differences and the changes that you've seen in Cohasset in terms of, you know. I don't have two hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we notice that the population has grown, you mm -hmm. know. When I first uh, moved into town, and I was coming to work, there's no one in front of me and no one behind me. <laughs> if there was one in front, of, in front of me, I'd be two minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> but now I, I see the, the, the traffic uh, going through the, the center of town and on Route 3A has increased immensely since, since I started here back way in uh, uh, when I, 19, what, 68 I started, yeah. So what made you want to start a barber shop in 1968? Well, I had a family that were barbers, you know, and uh, I got out of high school and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And uh, so a couple of people told me, why don't you go to uh, learn how to cut hair? Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather pick up uh, scissors and a comb than picking up uh, a shovel or, uh, you know, yeah. construction <laughs> work or stuff. So, so uh, that's... Uh, and uh, I thought it was a wise move. You know, it's uh, wow. you know, there's always work if you want to work. Oh yeah. Uh, so here I am. People always always need a haircut. And it's <laughs> always a pleasant to talk to people. The people around here are very very nice, uh, very pleasant, uh, very generous, and uh, uh, and I like uh, conversations and different people. You know, we talk a lot, we learn a lot. I got a college education beyond the chair. That's what I tell people. <laughs> What's been the most interesting story that you've heard while cutting somebody's hair? Oh my God, too many. There's too many stories. <laughs> I can't reveal a lot. <laughs> well, you don't have to tell us names. <laughs> uh, you know, it's hard to pin down a story uh, because uh, they're all kind of funny, and uh, you know, some of them, uh, you know, they're very picky about their hair. You know, you have to charm them and uh, cut hair. Slowly, so you don't make any errors. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I can't even remember a typical story that uh, uh, that I can tell you. Really, it just uh, that we uh, have great conversations, mm. and uh, that's about all I can say. Really, we talk a lot, but I can't put pinpoint something that really sticks out in my, in my brain right now. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So what kind of changes have you seen in um, cutting hair since, you know, you started in 1968? Yeah, well, uh, you know, we during the the 70s, <laughs> the long hair was, was in, you know, and, <laughs> and uh, a lot of people couldn't adapt to that. A lot of people in the business couldn't adapt to that, and... Uh, uh, we did, and we survived through it. So uh, different styles. Kids like uh, short, long. Uh, we have him that he does uh, stripes and uh, skates on it. He can do anything and put some kind of designs. I don't. I don't do that, but uh, I don't have that that uh, skill. That. that but uh, what the Mohawk time thing? What, when was that? The Mohawk time uh, back in the. 80, so still do it, huh? A few, a few kids like to do it, and I said, no, I say to them, no, you don't want that. <laughs> you really don't want that. I, I, I hate to give those haircuts because it, it's such a drastic cut. Mm -hmm. So, but some of these people do it. I don't do it. <laughs> so what's... And, if I, if, 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 and when they leave, I tell them, don't tell them where you got this haircut. <laughs> Okay. Don't tell him you got it at Pat's Barbershop, right? <laughs> Situate, yeah. <laughs> so what's been the, the craziest haircut that you've seen done? Have you taken any uh, pictures of that? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we try not to do the crazy haircuts, though. But, uh, but uh, uh, there's some 
No, that's not one over there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. P kids have different uh, ideas about haircuts. They wake up one morning and they see a crazy haircut, whether it's on TV or in a football star. Or I want one of those. So I want Tom. <laughs> I want Tom Brady's haircut. You know. I want <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, do you cut any uh, female um, customers? They do. They all cut females. Thank you, Mike. I like to do the short hair specialist, you know. <laughs> short and nicely tapered, you know, and nice, comb nice. They were all they were all fantastic barbers here. Yeah. They really I don't I, I, I don't take all the credit. I just open the place, you know. But uh, everybody here is uh, very qualified, thirty thirty years experience at least. Tony's forty years, Jim Bronco's thirty years. Wow. Thirty years over there. Uh -huh. Um and uh you know, Michael, he's a hairdresser and also a, a barber. Jeff Franco is a hairdresser and also a barber. Oh, wow. And, uh, and the girls here, they do the, the uh, ladies also mm -hmm. and the men. So they, have, uh, they can do both. Wow. So we have a very talented staff here and very good staff, excellent staff, great personalities and great people. And I attribute that to my success here, and not to, I don't take all the credit. Well, that's very, very kind uh, to recognize all the wonderful staff that work here. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know why I have laryngitis this morning. But, but, um, but anyways, I appreciate you people coming here you really, and giving us uh, some attention. <laughs> No, not not at all. I mean, you you are a landmark to Cohasset. Uh, you've been here for since you said 1968, so I'm sure a lot of people in town would like to know more about you and more about your background and your experience. And do you come from a family of um, hairdressers? I had two uncles, I had two uncles there, and I had a close friend that also was in the business. You know. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, you know, chatting with him, hey, it's fun. We have a lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun here, too, <laughs> you know. We, we laugh a lot between uh, haircuts, you know. And then I think people like that coming in here. That's not all business, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. So people, people are very comfortable when they come in here. Uh, and they usually meet other friends that come in here, which live also in town. They meet a lot of people, so. It's a lot more relaxed and, uh, yeah. Atmosphere in here, yes. Absolutely. Tony, he said they call him Cuckoo Tony because he was always talking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Funny guys, he's great with the kids, as everyone is here. You know, we do a lot of little children here as their first haircut. Uh, and then you, you know, you have them for a long time until they grow up. <laughs> uh, we do, some people have been coming here for, we have one person, five generations. Five generations coming here. A lot of fours, you know, a lot of three generations. But uh, people, once they get used to the place, they don't go anywhere. They, they'll, they'll drive, uh, even if they move, they want to come down here and drive uh, 45 minutes to get it. You get people from Plymouth, Quincy, Brockton. I mean, I mean, oh yeah, it's, it's amazing. Marshville, uh, Situate. <laughs> such wow. as close, but yeah, such as close, but the, some of the other towns. Are, I mean, that's a, quite a ways to come. I mean, people come. Uh, I can't believe it. You know, a few people from Plymouth, but uh, you know, they're they're creatures of habit, guys. You know, they don't like the change. Where uh, women, they change every other week and go to a different. <laughs> guys don't move once they get stuck. <laughs> I, I, I think you should let it, someone else uh, comment. Maybe. Uh, Gianfranco, he's from Italy, you know. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, from Italy. And I'm from Italy. Three of us are from Italy. So where, where are you from in Italy? Uh, Calabria, southern Italy. Oh. He's uh, Gianfranco, he, he's from southern Italy, Italy also. Oh. And uh, Mike here, uh, from Italy. He's southern Italy also, I believe. You know, my family is from uh, Naples, Napoli. Yes. Close, close to southern Italy, not yeah. too far away. My grandfather's last name is Bucarelli. Yeah, you, you speak Italian also. I speak Spanish, but uh, Spanish has helped me with uh, Italian. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I speak Italian. I, I mean, I can go to Italy and get along okay, you know, yeah. but 
But uh, I forget a lot because I don't uh, speak that much, you know. That's if true. I wasn't for these guys, I wouldn't know any, anything at all. <laughs> so do you guys all speak in Italian here? No, we don't speak Italian. But when we go to an Italian neighborhood, we speak Italian. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, we get together with uh, a dozen, about a uh, dozen Italians once in a while and then go out to dinner all together, just the guys. Though, no, no, no. Uh -huh. And uh, we, st we speak Italian. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, how did you like your espresso? Oh, it was delicious. Thank you so much. Uh, love the espresso. Well, you, may, you may want to chat around. I mean, walk around and just uh, maybe see if they have anything to add to anything, you know? Yeah, what, well, I, what I would like to know, and I'm sure the audience would like to know as well, is who's the most famous person that you've cut hair here at, at the barbershop? They're or? all famous. They come in there. They're all famous. <laughs> Because I've heard that Steve Carell comes by once in a while and brings his son over. Is that correct? <laughs> who's, who's that now? Steve Carell from The Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else that you you know? Steve Carell. He could be a movie star, but he's just another haircut he's here. Just another haircut. <laughs> Listen to that, Steve. You're just another haircut. <laughs> so. Well, let's talk to some of the other. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 my mouth is getting dry right now. Oh. So here we are in Michael's room at Pat's Barbershop. I'm drinking my espresso that Pat has given me, and uh, we're just going to talk a little bit to Mike while he's cutting this gentleman's hair. Hello, Mike. I can. Hello, how you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good thanks. Good, good. So you've got your own little spot right here. I do, yeah. And how long have you had this spot? Oh, uh, ten years. Ten years. Wow. Wow. So tell us, um, what do you enjoy most about uh, cutting gentlemen's hair or ladies' hair? That's my favorite part. I cut people. Say I love people. I love customers. So I enjoy what I'm doing. Yeah. So. And where did you get your background from? From uh, Italy, obviously. <laughs> That's what Pat was telling us that you're from Italy. Where in Italy are you from? Calabria. Bella. Oh. So, now give, uh, us, give us a little bit of Italian for the audience. Che cosa che vuol dire? Tutto va bene. Una siamo tutta una famiglia. Ringrazio tutti. Thank you very much. And what did you just tell us? <laughs> well, I said this is a beautiful spot. Uh, we're all family here, and uh, we enjoy working each other. Oh, wow. We enjoy our companies, right, Pete? Right. <laughs> so Pete, why don't you tell us how? Tutta bene. Tutta bene. Oh. <laughs> and I'm not Italian. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been coming to Pat's Barbershop? Oh, uh, about 30 years. It was 40 years late. Before Michael got here. <laughs> and and your sons or daughters? Do they come here as well? Uh, my daughters did when they were little kids, yeah, oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> yep, had a quick, quick chop, and then they were on their way, they did a nice job. So it's a family tradition here, huh? For sure, yeah. <laughs> what town are you from, Pete? I live right across the street, so That's I'm a local. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally don't have to go far. <laughs> exactly, lucky me, I'm the luckiest one in town. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh. No, that's okay. <laughs> so what do you enjoy most about Pat's Barbershop, Pete? Uh, I tell you, this crew, every time I see them anywhere in, on the street, around town, anywhere in the South Shore, they always know my name and they're always saying hello, whether we're in the barbershop or outside of it. That personal yeah. touch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't forget them, and I hear they have great stories, and they love to listen to my stories, too. That's right. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for letting us talk to you, Pete, and enjoy your haircut. Oh, thanks. Pat's Barbershop is located on 117 Ripley Road, right near downtown in Cohasset and next to the South Shore Art Center. <laughs> 